Chavillers, this is Chadri and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, I will going to discuss how to properly take in oxygen in our body during trainings and exercises. So for your information, our muscles, lungs, and our entire body needs oxygen to function properly. So itry nyong hindi huminga. Anong mangyayari sa inyo? Di ba matitigok? Do you agree? Okay po. So, later on, uh, I will going to discuss the six ways to breathe easy during exercise. So, let's watch this. Okay. So, pisan na po natin yung ating discussion. So, six ways to breathe easy during during exercise. Okay, so we have six uh, ways. So, umpisaan po natin sa una. Okay? So, una po is considered activity you're participating in. Yes. So, piliin po ninyo kung anong activity yung sasalihan ninyo. Halimbawa, sasali po kayo sa running. So, meron po tayong category sa running. So, meron po tayong uh, short distance and long distance. So, short distance po... Uh, doon po tayo uh, kailang mag-take in ng maraming oxygen kasi yung 100 to 200 meters na tatakboy natin mas mabilis yung ating paghinga so we need more oxygen doon naman po sa sa long distance mas mabagal po yung uh, takbo natin doon so we need uh, to lessen uh, yung pag-take in natin ng oxygen hindi masyadong marami yung i-take nating oxygen kasi mas mabagal yung takbo natin at mas mabagal rin yung paghinga natin then uh, example po isa pa pong example is yung ating weight uh, lifting so weight lifting po yung mga builders po yung mga nagbubuhat ng mabigat is uh, yung proper uh, take in ng oxygen nila especially yung inhaling and exhaling dapat po uh, may idea sila doon pero sa katagalan nilang nag-exercise mayroon na rin siguro, siguro silang ano, uh, idea doon kasi halimbawa for example uh, yung magbubuhat ka na pag magbubuhat ka na ng uh, heavy object kailangan po is mag-exhale ka tapos pag ibababa mo na po yung heavy objects Halimbawa yung dumbbell, kailangan po is mag-inhale ka. Kasi bakit po, pag hindi nyo sinunod yung uh, proper take-in of oxygen, yung inhaling and exhaling, pwede po kayong mawalan ng malay. So, yun po, yung halimbawa. Okay, so let's move on sa ating pangalawa. Okay? So, yung pangalawa natin, uh, remember to exhale. Yes. So, yung iniisip lang natin is, yung nasa, uh, nasa isip natin, wala na yung yung proper way of uh, inhaling and exhaling eh wala na po dun eh bale yung inisip lang natin huminga lang tayo habang uh, pineperform natin yung isang uh, uh, for example yung certain uh, uh, task na ginagawa natin or activity hinga lang po tayo ng hinga but we need to follow the proper uh, inhaling and exhaling so kailangan po nating huminga ng maayos okay, ng tama po especially kasi, bakit po kailangan po nating eliminate yung ating carbon dioxide halimbawa, nasa ano po tayo sa public place nandun po tayo sa maraming ano, sasakyan of course, pag maraming sasakyan uh, polluted doon at of course, pag polluted ano po yon? marami tayong matetake in na carbon dioxide. So, to eliminate the carbon dioxide, kailangan po natin mag-take in ng oxygen. Intindihan po ba ninyo? Kasi yung carbon dioxide na natetake in natin, uh, coming from the uh, pollution, yung mga sasakyan, yung methane gas, yung mga burn gas gases ng ating mga sasakyan, yun po yung nagkukos sa atin para makakuha tayo ng sakit. Okay? To avoid... Uh, having sickness syempre kailangan po natin mag take in ng oxygen 
properly taking oxygen. Naintindihan po ba? Okay, so let's move on to number 3. Sa number 3 na po tayo. Okay, sa so number 3 po, get some fresh air. So get some fresh air po. So, wag po yung pupunta kayo sa mga crowded place na more on uh, more on uh, polluted na yung ano niya, yung place na yon. Halimbawa sa mga factory, sa mga establishment. Tapos sa uh, halimbawa sa mga sa, ah, sa mga ano, sa daanan, sa main road doon makakalanghap po kayo ng mga masasamang usok na nagkukos po ng sickness. Okay? Makakakuha po kayo ng iba't ibang sakit doon kasi yung na-inhale po natin hindi na oxygen. Oxygen, uh, oxygen siya pero meron mas marami nang nate-take in is yung carbon dioxide which is uh, harmful uh, in our body. Yun po. And of course, uh, pag nasa indoor naman po kayo, indoor house, sa bahay ninyo, you, uh, you need to uh, open your window. Kailangan nyo pong buksan yung uh, bintana ninyo para yung uh, fresh air, halimbawa maraming puno sa bahay ninyo, sa surroundings ninyo, ma-absorb nyo po yung fresh air coming from the trees. Okay po? Which is good in our body. Naintindihan po ba? Okay, number 4. Let's move on to number 4. So, number 4 na po tayo. Okay, eat healthy. Eat healthy. Okay. So, we need to choose uh, a healthy foods or yung mga certain foods na kailangang i-take in ng ating katawan. Not only to uh, boost our energy and also to function properly our, ano, yung ating katawan, okay, our body. And, of course, we need to uh, choose or to take in yung mga fruits and vegetables. Sila po yung rich uh, rich sa uh, chlorophyll, yung green pigments. Kasi yung green pigments natin, yung chlorophyll natin, pag yung isang, uh, yung isang pagkain, example is yung ating fruits and vegetables, mayaman siya sa protein, ay protein sa chlorophyll rather. So yun po, mas mabuting i-take in yun para mas maganda yung pag-function ng ating katawan during the certain task or during the activity na ating pineperform. Okay po ba? Then, let's move on to number 4. Okay. So number ay number 5 na pala tayo. Okay? So uh, number 5 exercise. So we need also a daily exercise. Kagaya ko uh, yung schedule ko kasi yung exercise is habi ko na. So yung schedule ko sa pag-exercise is Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, bale nag-weightlifting po ako, nagbubuhat ako ng mabigat, yung dumbbell, may dumbbell po ako sa bahay, and yung sa, yung remaining days ko po, yung sa Wednesday Friday and Saturday is nag bale nag ano po ako na jajaging kasi hobby ko na po yung pag jajaging then so we need a uh, daily exercise and number Six po, lastly, is uh, test your blood oxygen level. So, test your blood oxygen level. Okay? So, even when doing uh, all of the above, it's good to know where you stand regarding your blood oxygen level so that you have a good indicator of how much oxygen your body is getting. So, blood oxygen saturation, abbreviated PO2, is measured on how much oxygen the blood is carrying due to the fact that our body is breathe voluntary and do, do a pretty good job keeping the levels where need to be it's safe to say that generally speaking more than 89% of your blood cells should be carrying oxygen at a given time yes tama po yun so kailangan po dito is kailangan sabi dito 
Kasi more than 89% of your red blood should be carrying oxygens at the given time. So, 89% po. And, of course, alam po natin yung ating uh, breathing is voluntary siya. ba diba? Voluntary po. Makikita nyo, bakit voluntary? Kahit hindi nyo po ginagawa po sa siyang nagpa-function. Okay? Humihinga po tayo. So, yung ating uh, uh, yung pag breathing natin is continuous po. Okay? Hindi na po yan maalis. Pag naalis siya ang ating breathing, hindi na kayo minga, dead ball, uh, dead ball na po kayo. Uh, patay na po kayo. ba? Diba? Yun po yun. Okay? And uh, sometimes, however, our bodies aren't working well as they should. And of course, uh, to low not pumping enough blood, either this can cause an imbalance in amount of oxygen being distributed throughout your body, putting strain heart lungs. So yun, pag imbalance na po yung, uh, yung breathing natin, halimbawa, uh, hindi na siya normal uh, na paghinga, so makakakuha po tayo ng iba't ibang sakit. Pwede po tayong magkaroon ng heart disease, lungs, yun po. Halimbawa, sa lungs, uh, lungs disease po kasi, ay lungs disease po. Oh, lungs disease. Pwede po, uh, halimbawa yung mga marami pong bisyo, mga nanidigaril yun, umiinom, yun po yung nakakakuha ng lungs disease. Nagkakaroon ng lungs disease. At yung sa heart disease po, is makukuha rin yun. Okay, so, any problem po ba or clarification sa six ways uh, to breathe easy during exercise wala na po so that's it po uh, and I hope you like this video and you learn something so if you want more discussion uh, just comment uh, down below and tatalakayin po natin for our next video so till next time